Time now for the morning rush. A strong winter storm is moving through New Mexico right now, bringing wind and heavy snowfall. And this is a look right there at Tramway and I-40 earlier this morning where our cameras caught transformers being blown. According to PNM, more than 18,000 people around the state are without power at this point. Plows are out, but you're advised to take it slow on the roads. Grant. Well, those strong winds are going to stick with us here in the metro at least into the early afternoon. We've already seen wind gusts over 60 miles per hour across parts of Albuquerque as this winter storm makes its way across the state. Continues to bring heavy snowfall along the I-40 corridor, and that snow and rain chance will continue for many of us into the early afternoon. So the fallen officer in Colorado's tragic mass shooting hits close to home. Eric Talley, who was shot dead on Monday, grew up in Albuquerque. He went to Whittier Elementary, Wilson Middle School, and Highland High, where he graduated in 1988. Talley's former classmates started a GoFundMe to help raise money for his family. Suspect in the Boulder supermarket shooting is now charged with 10 counts of first-degree murder. Investigators still have not established a motive, but the suspected shooter's family says that they believe that he was suffering from mental illness. He is scheduled to be in court tomorrow. The state says that now its new COVID-19 app is important for you to use. The app is called NM Notify. It's meant to tell people if you've been exposed to someone with the virus, the app will notify people who've recently been in the same area as an infected person. Health officials say for every two people that download this app, we can prevent one exposure. Meanwhile, some New Mexicans are becoming frustrated over the issues with the vaccine appointments. Some complain that the Department of Health is inviting people to make an appointment for a shot, only to find out that the event is already full. The DOH explains that they invite more people than they have spaces for, just to make sure that the vaccine doses do not go to waste. Intel announcing plans to expand its operations into Arizona. The $20 billion expansion is expected to create 3,000 permanent jobs, manufacturing chips for other firms. The chip makers struggled in recent times, resulting in rounds of layoffs affecting its location in Rio Rancho. The IRS announced plans for more stimulus payments to go out today. Last week, the IRS deposited about 90 million checks through direct deposit and then mailed out another 150,000 payments. Most Americans can expect a check for $1,400, which is part of the latest coronavirus relief package. Mayor Tim Keller plans to spend about $1.5 million to boost tourism. The money comes in part from the general fund and will be used for marketing and advertising. The tourism department estimates that New Mexico lost about $3.5 billion in visitor spending over the last year. And we're bumping the Metro Threat Index all the way up to a six, mostly for this morning as we're still dealing with some strong winds out there, a mix of rain and snow through the early morning hours, and especially we're dealing with some snowy conditions into the East Mountains and west of the Metro. The state is giving out $600 rebates to households that qualify for the Working Families Tax Credit. Individuals making less than $31,200 or couples filing jointly making less than $39,000 will automatically get the credit. It will come either by mail or direct deposit depending on how you filed your 2020 tax returns. The state is trying to help people feel more comfortable about getting the vaccine. The Department of Health says nearly 40% of New Mexicans 16 years old and up have gotten at least one shot. To help, they've added things like drive-up clinics and created a series of social media videos. They include messages about the importance of getting a vaccine. There's a new plan to save the struggling postal service. The 10-year Delivering for America plan is looking to make up for billions of dollars in losses. The plan calls for slowing the delivery window for first-class mail. It also cuts operating hours at some locations. The postmaster says they'll run out of money without these. Now let's take a look at your traffic this morning. Roads may be a little bit wet across parts of the metro, but overall no accidents to report. However, if you're heading onto the East Mountains or here into the metro, I-40 is slick through Cornwall and T. Harris. Some teachers in Los Alamos, they are now making some time capsules, capsules rather, with their students after finding one from 50 years ago. A PE teacher at Barranca Mesa Elementary recently found a time capsule left by a fourth grade class in 1970 that was hidden in a gym closet with a letter saying to not open it until 2020. Inside were drawings, newspapers, and a cassette tape. Well, we're dealing with some strong winds here in the metro today. On this day back in 1962, they dealt with strong winds across southeastern New Mexico, even damaging roofs, signs, and glass windows. And Artesia even destroyed a barn. Time now for the five facts. At number five, the city of Albuquerque is gearing up for summer. The city's indoor pools are open for lap swimming, but if you have traveled out of state recently, they are asking you to still quarantine for two weeks before using the facilities. Reservations are required for up to two days in advance for the general public. Number four, now the state is giving out $600 rebates to certain households that qualify for the Working Families Tax Credit. Individuals making less than $31,200 or couples filing jointly making less than $39,000 will automatically get the credit. It will come either by mail or direct deposit based on how 2020 tax returns were filed.
And number three, the state's Department of Health is explaining why their new COVID-19 app is so important for people to use. The app is called NM Notify. Now it's meant to tell you if you've been exposed to someone with the virus. Now in order for the app to work though, a person who tests positive for COVID-19 should self-report to the app, which connects it with other phones via Bluetooth. Well, the app will then notify people who have recently been in the same area as the infected person. Uh, iPhone and Android users can get it on the App Store. On to number two now, the death of police officer Eric Talley in Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado's mass shooting hits very close to home. Talley grew up in Albuquerque, going to Whittier Elementary, Wilson Middle School, and then Highland High, graduating in 1988. Talley's classmate, Kerry O'Brien, says that he was someone who was truly loved by the people who knew him. Talley's former classmates also started a GoFundMe page to help raise money for his family. You can find the link at alwaysonkrqe.com. Great. And at number one this morning, a winter storm is bringing with it some heavy snowfall across parts of I-40 and I-25. This will bring with it some travel conditions this morning. The snow will start to wrap up by later into the afternoon. The strong winds here in the metro will also end by later today.